be shooting. Oh. All there. Where's the fourth? Three's hard. <gasps> Slide, jump. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like a similar thing in Black Ops 4, though. It's just Black Ops games here. to be fair. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gun point, gun point, gun point, gun point. Oh, shit. Should still man. spawn here. Still going. I'm still going! Oh, nice Man, it's such a prick. He's looking behind him in his own. God, I can't be asked. Alright, dude, I'm finding these shits as lobbies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, split quad feed. Glitching in, glitching out, went in properly. Literally fucking spares dart. The tools. Please get another. Man, he slid and then just stopped. I don't know. I just went off. So basically, you've got to aim the fucking highest you possibly can and hope to God you don't get. Yeah, another marker. Don't get another marker. Sucks, man. Fucking cartel's a shit map, but if you're spawning in this side of the fucking map, you're dead. Every time. If you're holding a fucking snap in your hand, you're dead too. When this game comes up, the snapping better have been adjusted. Can't be getting hit marks coming on my ass this much, shitty. Actually, about next weekend, why the hell am I? Just try a bit harder next time, but I don't think I'll get the full experience of the fucked hard. Moron. The only fucking shot he hits. <sighs> you know, we're really fucking them up.
Oh my god. If you What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. And in today's video we're looking at Black Ops Cold War, the beta that came out. I did pre-order it so I did get early access and specifically we are looking at the Pellington 703 sniper rifle. It's the only one we can use at the moment. I believe next weekend the level cap of 25 is lifted. You unlock the Tundra at level 28 I believe. So next weekend I'll be grinding out clips and class out for the Tundra. But today's video we're looking at the Pellington 703 and the class out. There's two that I kind of mess with. So I'll give you both of those and see what you think. Um, but before we get into that, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, snipers got nerfed quite a bit since the alpha. I know in the alpha they buffed them on purpose just to see how overpowered they are. And I feel like in the beta they've over nerfed at least the Pellington. The aim down sight speed is a bit slower but it's not a problem with the attachments. You can make it quick enough but the hit markers are crazy on this. So you kind of need to aim really upper chest upwards like collarbone upwards to get a one shot. Anything below that is a hit marker and you're dead before you get to take another shot. So I'm hoping when the actual game comes out, the damage is buffed a bit for the Pellington. Leave the ADS as it is. Even take off aim assist. We don't need it. We'll let people who are actually good at sniping be the ones to make sniping videos with clips. Just take off aim assist, buff the damage on the Pellington and leave it at that. But anyway, this is my class up with the Pellington. So we'll go through these first. I run Stimshot, C4. I don't really use it, but grenades take way too long to cook. And then I've recently put on Sam Turret for like uh, score streaks and things like that. I use Tac Mask out of these three. And then I use Lawbreaker, which allows me to equip multiple perks from one perk category. And then, because I don't need to run Scavenger, don't stay alive long enough to need it. Tracker, Assassin, not bothered. So I run Gung Ho and ghost for obvious reasons secondary not bothered that's just what i start off with don't really care as you can see it's level two i barely use it and we've got this at max level so the attachment i've recently been using is as follows no optic no muzzle i use the 21.7 inch overlord barrel for the 15 percent increase in fire rate i use the bipod under barrel 50% vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control and 15% centering speed. Sprint move speed is decreased by 5% but I don't really care about that. You can slide around anyway. Magazine, this is where I kind of use different things. I did at one point use the 7 round speed mag just because you do get hit markers. So if you do get the chance to get off another shot, it's nice to have the extra bullets. There's been a few times where... I've got a hit marker, then I've got the guy, and then there's loads more lined up, but I have to reload because I've got seven round, uh, because I've got five round mags. So this is one I used before. You can use that if you like. Otherwise, I would recommend only using this one. Fast mag or seven round speed mag. I wouldn't use any other one. Handle, I use the task force rear grip. 10% aiming speed. Obviously, that's what you want. Or you could use this one. 8% aiming speed and aim flinch stability. But... I don't know how much flinch affects your aiming stability when you're quick scoping because you're just in and out of the scope. So you could try it. I don't really feel much of a difference. So I've gone back to quick radius. And for the stock, I run the marathon stock sprint out speed. Um, it's basically when you're sprinting and you see someone, it brings up the gun quicker so you can aim down sight. Or the other one I would use is the duster pad, 30% slide speed. If you use it, you slide really quick. You can really put enemies off by sliding past them if you miss your first shot. It gives you time to get off the second shot. Um, but yeah, those are the attachments I rock on the Pellington 703 sniper rifle in Black Ops Cold War. Let me know what you guys think if you run different attachments. And maybe I'll try them out next weekend. But that's all for now. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.